Once 10-year-old Gavin Warren puts his mind to something, he makes it happen. He decided he wanted to be an actor. He started auditioning and eventually landed a role playing Neil Armstrong's son in the new movie First Man, starring Ryan Gosling. Gavin recently stopped by to share his experience working on this film. Gavin, you're just one of those kids who kind of loves life. You love yeah. gymnastics, soccer, tennis, drawing, music, and you were modeling also for a while. Do you remember yeah. when you modeled on Great Day Houston back in 2015? Yes. Yeah, that's when you were a really young man. Yeah. Right? And, and do you remember what I told you? What did I tell you, Gavin? Uh, that you would grow up to make it big one day, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and so you have grown up, now you're 10, and um, you're doing a lot of really cool things in acting. So when did you decide to throw acting in the mix of all the stuff you love to do? Uh, well, what happened was, it's kind of a funny story. Me and my brother were planning to be like Adam Sandler. We uh -huh. loved Adam Sandler. Uh -huh. And we watched a lot of his movies, and then one day we decided, well, we were at gymnastics practicing, and then one day we decided to do acting, so we said, we made a plan saying, let's, let's be super polite and ask mom if we could do acting. <laughs> It'd be super polite and ask mom if we could do acting. Yeah. All right, and so uh, you ended up getting movie roles, like First Man, which is coming out pretty soon. So how was that? Did they do a casting call? Did you get an agent? What, what did you do? Because I have so many parents and kids who ask me all the time, how do I get my child into acting? Oh, well, first of all, you have to be, uh, you have to be excited mm -hmm. and happy, whatever you do, for whatever you do, and um, you have to do hundreds of hundreds of uh, auditions to get one. Yeah, and if you're told no, you can't take that hard, you, yeah. you just know that the next one might be for you, and that next one for you was uh, First Man. And again, I mentioned earlier, I remember when Neil, Arm Neil Armstrong first went to the moon. I know you're looking at me saying I don't look that old, do I? You don't. I don't, good, thank you, good boy. Okay, um, uh, and you were, uh, of course, with Ryan Gosling. How was that, being on the set with actors who you love? It was so cool, and all of them are, it will, Everyone that I've met are so nice. Yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. he actually, to pass the time on the set, he was like playing baseball with you? Yeah. And what about Claire Foy? Oh, she's so nice. She was, she's like so caring and she's like my mom technically. Yeah. She's, she's just, she's funny. She has so many personalities. And you also learn how to do certain things on the set. You're learning from all these actors as well, aren't you? Mm -hmm. What are some of the best lessons you've learned about what your job needs to be? Like, if if I'm doing a crying scene, mm -hmm. she said it, or they said it, take really deep breaths and like close your eyes and yeah. stuff like that. So there's crying scenes, there's how to control your laughter, because yeah. I bet sometimes on the set, you're like something funny happens and you just can't yeah. stop laughing, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you control your laughter? Because sometimes I need to know that too. Uh, just... Do a still face. I don't Just know. do a still face. Just do a, all right. Uh, you really enjoyed working with uh, director Damien, uh, uh, with the director from La La Land. Yeah, he's super cool. Super cool too. We played. We did sword fighting, but with sticks. It was really fun. Yeah. And then you're currently filming. You're busy. You're currently filming The Descendant. What's that one about? Oh, uh, well, I'm the main character, and uh, it's about this little boy which is me, that, mm -hmm. um, that has this imaginary friend and that, like, his dad abused him a lot. Mm. And then dark things happen. Yeah. <laughs> and then the imaginary friend made him, like, be able to fly and stuff. It's really cool. But the imaginary friend, he uh, makes me do bad stuff in the movie or else he'll hurt me. Aww. So so kind of some big grown-up things <laughs> yeah. in there, but things that all oftentimes happen to kids. So you're telling a story that needs to be told there. Uh, how do you memorize your lines? Oh, well, this is my favorite part. <laughs> um, well, well, one of my favorite parts. What I, what I do is I, well, my mom draws all the words on paper, uh -huh. a sheet of paper, and then I draw what, I visualize what's in the scene, mm -hmm. or I just listen to headphones all day. <laughs> you just listen to headphones so you have your lines repeated yeah. all day long, and they're like, you're not in regular school anymore, are you? No. 
you were before, but you're missing too much school because you're yeah. working so much. Uh, well, now I do homeschool. Yeah. So do you find that you have a whole lot more friends now that you are famous? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of them. A lot of them. All right. So I'm going to ask you to end with your best advice for other kids who really would like to act. Because I think it looks easy when it's all edited and put on the film. You think you watch this great movie and go, oh, that was cool. I want to do that. There's a lot of work involved. And, yeah. And there's a lot more to it than I think people think. So what should people keep in mind? Work hard at what you do. Work hard at what you do. And... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. You gotta have fun in it, right? And speaking yeah. of having fun, one of your career goals is you want to be a stunt coordinator one day. Yeah, I really wanted to be a stunt coordinator. Yeah. So you want to stay in this business. Well, I think you'd be a great stunt coordinator because you also do gymnastics and the whole bit. This was a career made for you, and at 10 years old, you've already figured it out. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for not forgetting us. I will not. You will not, forget. ever. And when you win your first Oscar, what are you going to say? Thank you. I know her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know her. <laughs> you can thank God and mom and dad first, and number three is me. <laughs> yep. Thank you for dropping by to see us. You're welcome.